It's Lee Dixon over the ball, and uh, Lineker and Platt have gone to where they think the rules should be. And they're going to move late to stay onside. Pierce takes it, by Rettin for one more. Well, Chris Waddle found the ball coming quickly to him off the goalkeeper. It was a chance. And taken on by Turhan. Here's Feyaz, who's just graduated as a fully qualified coach in Turkey. Looking to his future. Tugay. Played well by Unal. Here's the captain, Ruzar. And Chris Woods has to make a save from the header from Feyaz. Good cross from Ruzar. Now Dixon. Blocked by Tugay. And Turkey suddenly springing forward again with pace and some uh, coordination as well. To show that England might have to keep their discipline at the back. And it was a fine try from Tugay. <laughs> Piontek checking the watch there. He's expecting a long evening and a painful one. Hasn't panned out that way as yet. Oh, he'll be very happy at the moment. His sides played quite well. And uh, getting through 20 minutes as they have done without their rear guard being punctured would have been a prime requisite. But they're being threatened now by Pierce. Knocked away by Tugai, who's showing he can defend as well as attack. Pierce again. Four in the centre for England. And Pierce gets a great angle for the cross. And Alan Smith at the far post sends England into the lead on a night when Smith felt personally it was crucial for him to score yes yeah, an Arsenal type goal Stuart Pearce has made two ventures into the uh, opponent's half he has seen go past Russo as if he stood still he's already crossed one perfect well that is a beautiful ball and Alan Smith scores those every week for the Arsenal Model still finding some freedom with persistent movement off the ball which, when it arrived, he couldn't control. Gurkha. Held up by uh, Feyaz. Now Oz. Rizar making the run on the right of Unal, who has the shot! And what a terrific shot it was, too! And still, Turkey frustrated in their ambition to score for the first time ever against England. And Woods, I think, played a part in that, flinging himself up to just touch it onto the bar. Here's Unal again, allowed to line it up, and Woods had to cover the post going down low this time. Well, that's incredible. They've had, this, is, this is a good effort from Unal. Woods, he'll have been disappointed if he hadn't got his fingers to it, but he, at least he's done it. Republic Island would have drawn as they have done. Platt! It's noticeable that when the Turks, the Turks do stick a lot of men behind the ball defensively, but they're not very, very good markers. Any run from midfield, see David Platt has got right in on the back of uh, Tugay there. Peter Beardsley amongst the England substitutes who's been stuck on 49 caps for a while now. He must be wondering whether he will reach the half century tonight. Robson. Here's Waddle. Dixon charges ahead of him, and there's space for Waddle to come inside if he so chooses to do, which he does. I reckon. Now, actually, uh, although he's 28, it's pretty short of experience. They find the, the outlet in the wide position. It's Rosar on the right, and this fellow, two guy on the left. O's. Two hands got forward. So too has Orhan, the number 11. Feyaz is waiting for a cross, and Orhan tries to find him with one. And Rizar lines up the shot, and at least gets it on the target. Well, it's alright to ask Dixon and it's alright to ask Pierce to come forward as attacking players, but they've also got to push forward and try and close the ball out. Here's Rizar attacking. Feyaz again, getting to the cross. I mean, this is scandalous. I mean, Feyaz, with a modicum of luck tonight, might have got a hat-trick of headers. That's one area where England are proud of normal supremacy, but it was not in evidence there, not by any means. And Dixon. 
could improve England's lot here. Lineker in the middle, joined by Smith on the far side. It came off Rajet, the goalkeeper's committed. And he's got to fight for it again on his line, and he's done that.